why does everyone advise against mechatronics? I've been hearing a lot of people advising me against mechatronics engineering for several reasons. The main reason is that jobs are harder to get or that studying it is a waste of time. I should just get electrical engineering or mechanical engineering. The thing is I chose mechatronics because I like studying electrical and mechanical and structural engineering at the same time. And as soon as I knew it was it existed, I knew that here's my passion. Do I go after it or do I just give up and go mechanical or electrical? You know, that's hard. I mean, I, I kind of did something similar. I, I got an engineering degree that was not as well known name wise. Got my bachelor of science in engineering science. And uh, I studied mostly mechanical. When people ask me what my degree is, I, I say mechanical because if you plopped my course transcript onto a any other school's mechanical engineering transcript, I'd, I'd qualify. I'd, I'd go one for one. I also took a couple extra electives because uh, I came in with extra credits from high school. So it allowed me extra time to take a couple extra electrical engineering electives, um, some of which I just used to fulfill general science credits and others took a digital logic design class because it was interesting to me. Um, and I, I, I get it. I get the interest. And I, I would say there are jobs that exist and there's companies that exist. There's companies that value those more specialized or in this case, say more broad engineering degrees that, that allow you to take more types of electives. There's companies out there that do value this like my former employer that hired me straight out of school, they valued it. My current employer values my experience that I've gotten then since then. And they don't really care what I studied for engineering school. The, the thing is though, is that the vast majority of companies have recruiters that are not engineering graduates that don't know the value of these more broad degrees and may and there maybe there if you're especially if you're hiring into consulting, somebody that's hiring a like, okay, I need to hire a mechanical engineer. So they go look through your resume. First thing they look for is mechanical engineering degree. Okay, great. All right, this person qualifies. Oh, not a mechanical engineering degree. Why'd they apply for this? Not qualify. It's just it's just so easy to eliminate you based on this degree. I mean, there are companies again out there. I'm sure that uh, like a, a, a good controls integrating comp company like Thermo Systems, I'm sure that they'd love, love, love a mechatronics degree and somebody that can kind of walk in the middle there. And and honestly, consulting companies should value that because you, all the projects they do are multidisciplined. But often they are trying to fill a role: a mechanical engineer, an electrical engineer, and the vast majority of people get a mechanical, electrical, civil chemical engineering degree. It's much easier to just match those people with those degrees to those jobs. So what I'd say is, is, is take the time. This is not unilateral advice. I'm not going to give you like a yes or no, even though I, I'd say generally it's better to just get the mainstream degree. But for your case, go look at the companies that hire into roles that you want to do out of engineering school and see what degrees they require. And they say, if they say it's a mechanical engineering degree or equivalent, they're still going to prefer a mechanical engineer. Or they just, if you see people that work for the company that have mechatronics degrees, maybe talk, go on LinkedIn, look at the people that have worked in those jobs, work for that company, see what kind of degrees those people have, do the research, do the time. And then if you see that overwhelmingly they have mechanical or electrical engineering degrees, which most companies that hire people into roles that kind of touch mechatronics, hire mechanical and electrical engineers, then, okay, maybe you need to pick one and go that route. And then maybe also just take a couple extra electives in the other if you're interested. But yeah, the reason why people advise against mechatronics is because it's not, it's not as easy to just match you to a mechanical or electrical engineering degree job. And because most people don't graduate with mechatronics degrees, the jobs that people think may be perfect for mechatronics graduates often still get filled by mechanical or electrical engineering grads. It's really about your what kind of interest you have and how much they think you fit the role. And maybe you worked an internship that uh, showed that you, you have an interest and you can see yourself fitting in that field and that role. Uh, there's a lot that goes into these things. But if you really want the mechatronics degree, I get it. I kind of wanted the same thing. 
and I kind of built it for myself and it was harder for me to get jobs. That's that's just the reality. Uh, I was very fortunate to get a job in the manner that I did. So, okay, that's my thoughts on the people that advise against getting a mechatronics degree. <clears throat> All right. I'm not miscommunicating. I just made a pilot, then they threw me on the stations. Now I'm not complaining. Now I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated. I cannot explain the lameness. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries. Thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify. They put me on the stations.